guys! Welcome to our vlog! Yay! This is Gat and Hamish And today we are going to discuss the Kiwi slang Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Right, so let's go dive into our first list So this is pretty common here in New Zealand It's called Dairy Dairy is like convenience store, like 7-Eleven that's right. Dairy. So they call it dairy, but in Philippines or in the United States, called convenience store or 7 Eleven. Right. Item number two. Jandals. Another. Right. So item number two is jandals. For Filipinos or Americans, we call it flip flops. Yep. Um, but here in New Zealand, it's called jandals. What? There you have it. Togs. And you explain that one. Uh, togs is like swimming wear, like uh, like swimming shorts or yeah. Togs. Yeah, togs. it's like a swimwear uh, swimsuit. Yeah, they call it togs. So next um, word, we have munted. Yeah. And what is munted? Munted just means like, oh, you got messed up or you got hurt or... Something like that. For example, if you hurt yourself or you fell into a bike, then you got munted. <coughs> oh, bugger, I've got munted. Yeah. Also, you can refer it to broken, like something get broken, and like, oh, I've got That's munted. munted. That's munted. Yeah. yeah. So it's called munted, something like broken or you hurt yourself. Next one, we've got stoked. Yeah, stoked is like, oh, yeah, really, really happy about that thing. Yeah, hey, I'm so stoked. I won Lotto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, means like really happy, like, you know, stoked. And the next word. Ta. <laughs> I love this one. Um, my father-in-law, Hamish dad, he always say this word, ta. Yeah, say it's ta. yeah, it's shortcut for thank you. Yeah. Ta. Say this one back. Yeah na or na yeah. Another one. Yeah na or na yeah. So what does yeah na mean? Yeah na nah sort of means oh, I could go either way. <laughs> like uh, for example, oh, is this burger good, mate? Yeah na. Na yeah is the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. They're no. pretty much the same. No, they're not. We have to still we have to look into this. You're a little confused, but you got the spirit. Okay. okay. Next one is we've got whoop whoops. Yeah. So what whoop is whoops? <coughs> whoop whoops. Yeah. <laughs> whoop whoops is like the middle of nowhere. Like we're driving in the middle of the whoop whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're driving in the middle of nowhere. Like you're lost. Yeah. Yep. But next is sweet as. Sweet ass. So explain what is sweet ass. Sort of means like, oh yeah, that's great. Good ass, mate. Like, good. All good. Yeah. Pretty much. Right, so now we're going to the interesting part. Another one. And we've got hot chips. So I got confused before when Hamish was ordering me food. He's like, oh, do you want hot chips? And I'm like, wait. You what? You mean like chips like you know like in philippines chips is like crispy chips like pringles those are chips right but here in new zealand chips is referred as fries yeah. it's they're referring to fries like potato fries yeah. no god please no no french fries yep so hot chips is like hot french fries <laughs> it's crazy this one which is uh, crisps crisp basically like chips and philippines yep yeah. <laughs> So they call it crisp. Like if you buy Pringles, they would name that crisp. And the next one we've got cupboard. Okay, they pronounce it cupboard. But if I'm gonna spell it to you guys, an American, an American person would read this as cupboard. But here they say it cupboard. What kind of a so what is that? Oh yes, a tilde. What that means is cabinet, like yeah. in the kitchen where you put your dishes. They call that cupboard, mm -hmm. but in Philippines that's like cabinet. And the next one we've got fizzy drink or just fizzy. Fizzy drink. So what does that mean? Basically like soda or yep. soft drink. Yeah. So the next one, which is snags. <laughs> <laughs> Snags. Yeah. Snags is short for sausage. 
In New Zealand, barbecue is not similar to Philippines. Like we stick meat in the in the actual skewer. Her their barbecue is like actually grilling either snags or patty. So that's their barbecue. And usually, Kiwi. usually on a gas bar barbecue. Yeah, it's like not, that's not charcoals or yeah, or that's like smoke. Yeah, that's like a kiwi barbecue. Um, but yeah, sausage is snags. Got this um, kia ora. Kia ora. So, Kia ora. How do you say it? Kia ora. Kia ora. Yeah. So you will hear that a lot if you're coming here in New Zealand in the airport. People would be saying or would be greeting you with Kia ora. Kia ora. Um, it's a Maori word for hello. Oh. Hello. Yeah. It's like welcome, like Kia ora. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a Maori word. Maori is like a native um, New Zealander. New Zealander. Yeah. And they have a different language. It's called Maori. Yeah, it's and, and we've got tramping, which means like a long hike. Long hike. Yeah. Tramping. They do not call it hiking. hiking. Yeah. I think it's just hiking. Next one. Tea. Another tea. one. Would you like to have some tea? Um, now, if you hear this phrase for the first time, you would think, oh, like she's offering me like a tea, like a green tea. <coughs> no, that's not what it means because I got myself, um, yeah, I got myself confused. I was <laughs> visiting Hamish here for the first time and we visited his parents. Um, place and they were hosting us for dinner oh. and her his mom asking me like oh Catherine are you ready for tea would you like some tea and I'm like oh sorry no I don't drink tea you stupid and she's like oh no no sorry I mean dinner <laughs> so tea is it means dinner in New Zealand next one we've got taka taka is basically like food yeah. or like a meal yeah so would you like some taka so if you hear that, that means would you like to have some food? This one we've got yarn. Yeah. It's not like in Philippines like lingo like yarn. <laughs> That's a different one. <laughs> yarn here is like having a talk. Having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, having a conversation. Like if someone asks yeah. you, what are you doing, mate? Oh, just having a yarn to my brother. Mm -hmm. It means like oh, I'm just talking to my brother or just having a talk. And we've got next is lollies. Yep. Um, it's like candy. So lollies here is not. It's not literally means lollipop because <coughs> in Philippines, lolly is lollipop, you know, lolly, like lollipop. <laughs> but here, lollies is is their term for candies. We're going to the next one. Got baga. Baga. And I'll let you explain that. Wow, well, it's basically like oh no, or like oh baga, you know, something went wrong. <coughs> yeah. Baga. It's like. Like sayang, yeah. I think yeah, so. I don't yeah, know. So. And we're going to the next one, which is pretty similar meaning to bugger. We've got gutted. Gutted. Um, yeah, gutted is pretty much has the like, same meaning as bugger. Yeah, like disappointed. Like we went for a kayak in Kaiteria and it was cancelled. So I said in my blog, oh, gutted. You know, we're gutted. Yeah, so it means gutted. like, yeah, like you were let down, like you're a bit disappointed. Sayang. If this is the interesting letter. So here in New Zealand, they don't call New Zealand as NZ, it's called NZ. So the letter Z in American English, as we pronounce it, Z, Z for zipper. Here, Z, Z is not Z, it's pronounced Z. Z E D. It's like, that's how you pronounce it, Z. There you have it. I Don't ask me why or how that <laughs> it's Z, but it's Z. <laughs> that's the way. And that's a fact. And we got next one is shout. Yeah, what is? So it means to like offer to like pay for something or you know, like offer to pay for the meal or like I'll shout you or. <laughs> so shout means like it's my treat. It's not like, oh, I shouted someone. So maybe if you're coming from Philippines or America, I'm like, oh my God, she shouted <coughs> to that person. No, that's not how it means. <laughs> It means that you treated that person like it's, it's my shout, like libre. Yeah. And next one, we've got she'll be right. Yep. And this is a common phrase here in New Zealand. And what does it mean? It just means that everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's she, but that's yeah. that's how they say it. She'll be right. I'd say, oh, a car is not working at the moment. And your friend would just say, she'll be right. Everything will be okay. They're very positive people. The next one is Broly. Broly. Um, Broly is for umbrella. Umbrella. 
that's just kind of like a shortcut for umbrella, but they call it brawly. Mm -hmm. The next one is trolley. Trolley. And trolley in the Philippines, we call it push cart, like yeah. in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. That's push cart. Here, they call that trolley. It's British English. <laughs> yeah. And the table napkin is called Serviette. Serviette. Wow, yeah. it's very social. <laughs> <laughs> right, and we're coming up to our last two. And we've got Macus. Macus. Now, if you don't know Macus, in Philippines, we call this McDo or McDonald. But here, for some reason, they, they call it Macus. You what? I don't know why. It's Macus here. Macus. Let's go to the Macus. This is the bonus part. Not supposed to put this here. Right. We've got rubber. Rubber. And <coughs> rubber is not an eraser or whatsoever. Rubber is condom. <laughs> I don't know why they call it rubber, but yeah, they don't call it condom, they call it rubber. Right, and that's it for today, guys. We'll see you in our next vlog. I hope you enjoy this um, episode and we'll be posting more of this. So please comment down below if you have any other content requests or if you have any questions, just anything they want us to do in our next vlog. We would highly appreciate that. Anyway, click like and subscribe and share. See you, bye. Bye. bye.